The Second Anglo-Afghan War Pashto, D. Afghan Anners Dwive Jaych was a military conflict fought between the British Raj and the Emirate of Afghanistan from 1878 to 1880, when the latter was ruled by Sher Ali Khan of the Barakzai dynasty, the son of former Amir Dust Muhammad Khan. This was the second time British India invaded Afghanistan. The war ended after a series of military victories by the British against various Afghan forces. The Afghans agreed to let the British attain all of their geopolitical objectives from the Treaty of Gandamak. Most of the British and Indian soldiers withdrew from Afghanistan. The Afghan tribes were permitted to maintain internal rule and local customs but they had to cede control of the area's foreign relations to the British, who, in turn, guaranteed the area's freedom from foreign military domination as a buffer between the British Raj and the Russian Empire. Afghanistan also officially ceded various border territories to the British Empire and allowed permanent British mission in Afghanistan. Background After tension between Russia and Britain in Europe ended with the June 1878 Congress of Berlin, Russia turned its attention to Central Asia. That same summer, Russia sent an uninvited diplomatic mission to Kabul. Sher Ali Khan, the Emir of Afghanistan, tried unsuccessfully to keep them out. Russian envoys arrived in Kabul on the 22nd of July 1878, and on the 14th of August, the British demanded that Sher Ali accept a British mission too. The Emir not only refused to receive a British mission under Neville Bowles Chamberlain, but threatened to stop it if it were dispatched. Lord Lytton, the Viceroy of India, ordered a diplomatic mission to set out for Kabul in September 1878 but the mission was turned back as it approached the eastern entrance of the Khyber Pass, triggering the Second Anglo-Afghan War. <laughs> War <laughs> First phase. A British force of about 50,000 fighting men, mostly Indians, was distributed into military columns which penetrated Afghanistan at three different points. An alarmed Sher Ali attempted to appeal in person to the Russian Tsar for assistance, but unable to do so, he returned to Mazar-i-Sharif, where he died on 21 February 1879. Treaty. With British forces occupying much of the country, Sher Ali's son and successor, Muhammad Yaqub Khan, signed the Treaty of Gandamak in May 1879 to prevent a British invasion of the rest of the country. According to this agreement and in return for an annual subsidy and vague assurances of assistance in case of foreign aggression, Yaqub relinquished control of Afghan foreign affairs to Britain. British representatives were installed in Kabul and other locations, British control was extended to the Khyber and Michni passes, and Afghanistan ceded various northwest frontier province areas and Quetta to Britain. The British army then withdrew, however, on 3 September 1879 an uprising in Kabul led to the slaughter of Sir Louis Kavagnari, the British representative, along with his guards, and staff, provoking the next phase of the Second Afghan War. Topic. Second phase Major General Sir Frederick Roberts led the Kabul Field Force over the Shutargarden Pass into central Afghanistan, defeated the Afghan army at Charajib on 6 October 1879, and occupied Kabul two days later. Ghazi Muhammad Jan Khan Wardak, and a force of 10,000 Afghans, staged an uprising and attacked British forces near Kabul in the siege of the Sherpur Cantonment in December 1879. Despite besieging the British garrison there, he failed to maintain the siege of Sherpur, instead shifting focus to Robert's force, and this resulted in the collapse of this rebellion. Yaqub Khan, suspected of complicity in the massacre of Kavagnari and his staff, was obliged to abdicate. The British considered a number of possible political settlements, including partitioning Afghanistan between multiple rulers or placing Yaqub's brother Ayub Khan on the throne, but ultimately decided to install his cousin Abdur Rahman Khan as emir instead. Ayub Khan, who had been serving as governor of Herat, rose in revolt, defeated a British detachment at the Battle of Maiwand in July 1880 and besieged Kandahar. 
Roberts then led the main British force from Kabul and decisively defeated Ayub Khan on 1 September at the Battle of Kandahar, bringing his rebellion to an end. Aftermath Abdur Rahman had confirmed the Treaty of Gandamak, leaving the British in control of the territories ceded by Yaqub Khan and ensuring British control of Afghanistan's foreign policy in exchange for protection and a subsidy, abandoning the provocative policy of maintaining a British resident in Kabul, but having achieved all their other objectives, the British withdrew. Timeline of battles There were several decisive actions in the Second Anglo-Afghan War, from 1878 to 1880. Here are the battles and actions in chronological order. An asterisk, asterisk indicates a clasp was awarded for that particular battle with the Afghanistan medal. Battle of Ali Masjid Asterisk British Victory Battle of Paywar Kotal Asterisk British Victory Topic 1879 Action at Takht IPUL British Victory Action at Matan British Victory Battle of Kushk i Nakhid British Victory Battle of Fatihabad Afghan Victory Battle of Kam Dhaka Afghan victory Battle of Charajab asterisk British victory Battle of Shahju Battle of Karazmir Battle of Takht i Shah Battle of Azmai Heights asterisk Afghan victory Siege of Sherpur asterisk British victory Topic 1880 Battle of Ahmed Kel Asterisk British Victory Battle of Arzu Second Battle of Charajib Battle of Maiwand Afghan Victory Battle of Day Koja Afghan Victory Battle of Kandahar Asterisk British Victory Topic 1881 Kandahar and Afghanistan Evacuation Order of battle Peshawar Valley Field Force Lieutenant General Sir Samuel Brown Cavalry Brigade Brigadier General C. J. S. Goff 10th Hussars 2 SQDNs, 11th Probins Lancers Guides Cavalry Royal Artillery 1st Infantry Brigade Brigadier General H. T. McPherson 4th Battalion Rifle Brigade 20th Brownlows Punjabis 4th Gurkha Rifles 2nd Infantry Brigade Brigadier General J. A. Teitler 1st Battalion Leicestershire Regiment Queen's Own Corps of Guides Infantry Component 51st Sikhs 3rd Infantry Brigade Brigadier General F. Appleyard 81st North Lancashire Regiment 14th Sikhs 27th Punjabis 4th Infantry Brigade Brigadier General W. Brown 51st King's Own Yorkshire Light Infantry 6th Jot Light Infantry 45th Sikhs Kuram Valley Field Force Major General Roberts Cavalry Brigade Brigadier General Hugh Goff 10th Hussars 1 SQDN 12th Cavalry 25th Cavalry Royal Artillery Colonel A. H. Lindsay 1st Infantry Brigade Brigadier General A. H. Cobb 2nd Battalion, 8th Foot 23rd Pioneers 29th Punjabis 58th Vons Rifles 2nd Infantry Brigade Brigadier General J. B. Thelwell 72nd Seaforth Highlanders 21st Punjabis 56th Rifles 5th Gurkha Rifles Kandahar Field Force 1st Division Lieutenant General Donald Stewart Cavalry Brigade Brigadier General Walter Fane 15th Hussars 8th Cavalry 
19th Fanes Lancers Royal Artillery Brigadier General C. G. Arbuthnot 1st Infantry Brigade Brigadier General R. Barter 2nd Battalion King's Royal Rifles 15th Sikhs 25th Punjabis 2nd Infantry Brigade Brigadier General W. Hughes 59th East Lancashire Regiment 12th Kellett I. Gilzai Regiment 1st Gurkha Rifles 3rd Gurkha Rifles 2nd Division Major General M. A. Biddulf Cavalry Brigade Brigadier General C. H. Palliser 21st Daly's Horse 22nd Sam Brown's Horse 35th Cinda Horse Artillery Colonel Le Measurier 1st Infantry Brigade Brigadier General R. Lacey 70th East Surrey Regiment 19th Punjabis 127th Baluchis 2nd Infantry Brigade Brigadier General Nuttall 26th Punjabis 32nd Pioneers 55th Cokes Rifles 129th Baluchis See also 1st Anglo-Afghan War 3rd Anglo-Afghan War European influence in Afghanistan Military history of Afghanistan